So, evil twins on the loose. That's not good. They want to destroy everything. Also not good. Cortex doesn't have a brain. That's eh, debatable. Debatable. Yeah. Uh, outcomes, we can probably but... be better with. We can probably do without. Yeah, there's and a I'm just eating some chicken. Nice. I'll probably. I guess I need to have to. Speaking of chickens. Oh. oh you know. Hey. You like your chickens fried? I like um, them. Get get over yep. there, freaking physics. <laughs> Thank you. There you go. Yep. I don't yeah, know if I, I don't know if I like fight. my chicken being fried with ni with nitroglycerin. Is this uh, nitroglycerin? I always thought it was nitrous it. oxide. No, it's it's it, oh, no, uh, nitrous no, oxide it, is the name no, of it. No, it's nitroglycerin. Oh, okay, yeah, that's nitrous oxide is the name of it. Right. At least that's what Resident Evil taught me. But anyway, yeah, we still have more physics platforms with nitro crates and TNT crates and all that lovable jazz. And as you're and seeing, like, I want to say this game in particular felt. Like, it, it took Hallway Platformer, which is what many people thought Crash Bandicoot games to be, it kind of made it a lot more looser in this game. A little, yeah. I suppose. They, well, they I wanted suppose. to try for something a little more free-roaming, but obviously you still have sections like these. Of and course. I will say and right now, the um, most... it's this cavern area right here where the kind of perspective platforming started to really trip me up. Uh, oh, hey, look, he got his brain back. Supposedly. That's good. You have to help me, Crash. You heard them. They want to destroy our island our? home, humiliate and enslave you, uh, and steal my brain. How I end I actually do want to. Actually, I'll wait till this cutscene's over first. <laughs> hey, Papa Papu. Oh Lovely. Oh like the triangles of my harmony stomach. with Mother Nature. And the that's noble a boy, the humble oh. bumblebee. Oh. <laughs> oh, dear. Of course. And now it's time for a flight of the bumblebee. And just real quick, I want to say style. about that scene. About that cutscene, um, about cra about Cortex going, You have to help me crash, yes. you hurt them! Um, found yes. in the disc of the game, there was actually an unused... I don't know if it's an unused audio clip or an unused, like, script prompt, but it was like Cortex, he was saying that line, but instead, he said, They want to dress me in drag with pigtails! Pigtails, dammit! Really? He says dammit? Yes, I kid you not. Like, look it up on on the. I want to call it the Crash Wiki, but the Crash Mania is where I go to. So my was crash that news, was that improv? So thing. was that it, well, hey, hey, but, 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 so was that improv or was that actually written? Like that was gonna be scripted until. Uh, oh my. That, no. oh, oh boy. <laughs> anyway, that I don't know about. All I know is that it exists in some form on the disc. You know what though? Okay. The fact hearing this this variation of Cortex saying damage doesn't really seem all that. Uh, disturbing to me. No, like, I could see I it. I could see it. I mean, look, the kind of shit this game gets away with already doesn't really... I mean, this game should have gotten a T rate, excuse me, an E10 rating, uh, but then again, this didn't really happen until about uh, a few months later. This is true. Yeah, because if I'm not mistaken, um, Donkey Kong Jungle Beat is the first game ever to introduce the E10 rating. That's correct. Why was it... Wait, why was Jungle Beat E10? E because of all the f fucking violence that game had. Uh, so Tropical Freeze is E10 at least, right? I actually, I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't think so. I don't know. I, don't, I think I don't that's just... That there's li in Returns, there's literally a minigame after you beat a boss where you literally punch the Ooh. dude as ruthlessly as you can and make a combo out of it. Also crap. I think it, so yeah, well, I think, I think it's so sorry for, so we can get away with it's it. A little more, so, it's a little more brutal than uh, Jungle Beat. So, that so, much, but yeah. so sorry, audience, for talking over this entire scene, but yes, the entire premise of this level was just to keep Cortex safe by filling out little puzzles sort of deal to just try and just to make his path clear since he clearly has no idea where he's going. Uh, yeah. So. Yeah. So now, up, now, now, if only he were able to use use that that the pressure plate to kill the bear. Right. Speaking of I, the bear, I, I think it's can. gone. Yeah, it's gone. I wonder what happened to it. Oh, uh, sometimes it gets caught on the geometry. Sometimes I remember that it used uh, to be the case with me sometimes. Right. But oh, oh, well, oh boy. <gasps> I know that's uh -oh. a graphical glitch, but at the same time, it makes me think that Papu Papu decided it would be a nice emblem to put on his fat fat fucking stomach. Or maybe, yeah. or maybe when he made the jump from the original PlayStation to PlayStation Two, not all of them changed. On him. <laughs> yeah, it's like that would have been hilarious. Unfortunately, the, poly actually. Unfortunately, the polygon yeah. experiment didn't quite work. Or like it's just a horrible like birth defect he has. <laughs> oh, it just has yeah. a really blocky arm. You mean that's not, anyway. you mean that's not already case with what's on his head? This is true. Oh, I think geez. that's supposed to be. So this is our. Oh, this part and is now, a little annoying. A little annoying, but not oh, not too bad. It's yeah. a, it's just a basic stealth section. Yep, which felt a little bit forced, but 
By the way, yeah. it, uh, by the way, for those who actually have played the classic trilogy, is it not obvious enough that the first portion of Crash Bandicoot is heavily based on the original Crash Bandicoot? <laughs> yeah. Also, I love this song too. Oh, I, lo I, I love, love this song, song too. Doc Ooh. loves it too. Just hear him. I'll give him the shush the second they don't stop. <laughs> oh, <laughs> take it easy. Okay. Oh yeah, I like when, when when you tilt the camera, Crash's head tilts along with it. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's a nice detail I like. There we go. Okay. I'm on. But yeah, if, that, if the if the that. um if the uh, if the uh, tribesman catches you, then he's gonna he's there's gonna be a whole shitload of arrows just thrown right at you, and you're dead. Yep, insta death. By the way, I want to okay, apologize for more. I want to apologize for any chewing smacking you here. Just as a reminder, I'm still eating. That's fine. I got dogs. You're fine. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. Okay. And I'm butt dope. naked. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Honestly, I wouldn't be able to tell. <laughs> like, you could be this whole time. I don't know what you do when we record. Just leave it to your imagination. Oh, I know Markiplier has made several jokes in his videos where he talks about how he doesn't record with pants on. I think he has underwear at least, but like he just doesn't wear pants because you know, he, he has a. Face you know, pant. Uh, with a man of that, a man with that physique, would it really be that? Would it really be that man? Yeah, I don't know. If he's, okay. Oh yeah, he's. A... I'll, I'll give him that. I'll give him that. He's very photogenic. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I mean, we did it. We he's, made like, he's like every... He, he's got the build of every team heartthrob. Exactly. Oh, yeah. How old, but he's like in his, he's like in his mid to, or late 20s, isn't he? I think so. It wouldn't, it wouldn't surprise me. I mean, that's pretty much what the case with all the uh, commentators... Or, excuse me, LPers we watch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think, so like... In any case... I guess it really depends. Sorry. I know NCS is definitely older than 20. Oh, definitely. Most of my... Most of those players I watch are older than me. I'm not sure about Dunky. But anyway, oh uh, yeah, let's here's another physics platform. I'm so amazed I got that the first time. That's awesome. But this yeah. this I'll admit right here, yeah, I agree. Trying to make this platformer because you're I'm still technically 3D space, that can get a bit hair raising. Mm -hmm. uh, also it so, also it doesn't seem like you have a drop shadow either. Nope. Nope, because emulator. It could be, it could be emulator or it could just be a, a natural fault of the of the game itself. Mm -hmm. I couldn't True. I couldn't say for sure. Oh, it's geez, been, oh, geez. Oh. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Well, yeah, you're oh, now, oh, now comes now comes James' favorite music song in the game. Or one of them. Well, let's hear it. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, what's this? Sacrifice! 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 Oh, they're trying to... He can't reach. No. He's so defeated. Oh, so, yeah, I love this I'm not going to get the worm. So I'm not going to get the worm yet. I'm going to explore a bit, because I know I think there's a gem or two I can get here. I see a mask there. Sorry, we're we're dorks. Yes, we are. Yes, but they're my dorks. Yes. You good? Papa Papa's in the back. We don't care about it. Good. And yes, we're gonna watch more of that tonight. Yes. I know. I look forward to it. But yeah, these platforms blend in so easily, and yep, there's a gem. Yay! Well, you know. Speed up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it makes it, it, makes it all seem like, uh, it makes it seem like, um, Jabberjaw sort of shit. Uh-oh, oh, this yeah. part. Yeah, yeah. Gotta wait for this. Man, this thing is taking a long time. There you yeah. go. Let's, there it is. I'm gonna keep it sped up because, yeah, you have to wait for each of these platforms to raise up and then jump over to it. And there it is. All right, now let's, let's actually get to what we're supposed to do here. Time to bash, no. time to play Matt bash a worm. Uh, oh, oh jeez. Yeah, yeah this is song one thing is called. Kind of picky. Um, if you if yeah. you buy slam just like right next to the worm, the worm will actually hit you, even though it doesn't really look like he hits you. Yeah, because like it just clips you in front of him, and he, I love this part. He's just a greedy worm. Just the, uh, the, the intricacies of their composition I like and the, their music and has like like all their music has like that attitude I like like it definitely has a style to it oh yeah and this is the, the last way, time I that, and, and, sorry I was just about to say I feel it's worth noting that when it comes to pl puzzles with these worm creatures if you don't stop it on the ground quick enough it will go back to its first hole yeah, yeah. alright back to your St. James at the, well, I was gonna go back to Spiral Mount for, for, for a brief yeah. bit, but um, this wouldn't be the last time they they would compose for a Crash game. No, they also came oh, yeah, back they for uh, racing tag games? team racing. Yep. Oh dear. Sacrifice. 
Freeze. Oh, oh dear. This is a little grim. <laughs> it's a good thing. Let's trap. Why is oh, you, oh, you would. That was a small whore. <laughs> Ooh. Fresh meat. Put it on my plate. <laughs> All That's actually guys. the sad thing, too, oh, because actually if Papu Papu's official description is anything to go by, Papu Papu is literally, pass the dish, pass the next dish, please. Yeah, that's literally, that's literally what it means. That's awesome, actually. Yeah. Nice. Anyway, um, I want to say real quick, I only mention him because I oh. want to say he's the voice of Papu Papu in this game. I know he voices a few characters, but I think Papu Papu is one of them. But Bill Farmer is a voice actor in this. Bill Farmer? Huh. Farmer. Well... Oh, uh, put that yeah, put no. that bandicoot on my plate, yuck! Nice. That's actually. Or if you want to, yep, Goofy. Or if you want to blow Logan's mind, Sam from Hit the Road. <sighs> God damn! What a shift. So, so in any case, um, so that was done. Um, just trying to think what uh, I was going to say earlier. Um, even when yeah, you're I guess, I, should, oh, I, guess I should. I guess I should mention some of the uh, mechanics I'm using as you're noticing. Uh, you have kind of a long jump where if you hit slide with the B or circle button on the PS2 and Xbox respectively. Was this on GameCube? No. It, was, it no. was planned to be on GameCube, but they didn't. again, they didn't have time. Okay. Which, su but, um, which really sucks in my honest opinion. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, I was yeah, such yeah. a GameCube junkie back in the day. And this it was this game alone that got me that made me shift to the game oh, this the uh, PS2. And, oh, we should oh, yeah. This. Shh. shh. Oh, Crash. The farmer's market is tomorrow, and my wumpa trees won't grow, for my orchard is riddled with greedy worms. Oh. If you rid my land of these pests, I'll give you this power crystal. Yeah, yeah eat your heart yeah, out, Jack and... No. <laughs> eat your heart out, Jack and Dexter. What do you expect? This isn't a gate. Says you, Cortex. No. So You can actually well, still uh, do uh, the uh, mission, uh, though, can you? Yeah, you, yeah. Well, you have to. It's, it's imperative. You have to. So now, enough talking about how this isn't a game. Let's play a game. Exactly. Here's a neat little, here's a neat little trick. If you slam and then slide Cortex, it for some reason treats as if your hitbox is still there and you can hit more than one at a time. Nice. So there you go. Ooh, Wumpa Trees. And now he decides, oh, I can teleport now. It's like, really? Oh, and he took the crystal with him, that bastard. Idiot. Uh, it's all right. He didn't really a scientist or something. He didn't teleport. From, he didn't teleport very far though, so it's like, okay. yeah, that's true. I mean, I guess he had to go. Had to go somewhere because really, when you're when you're together, you can't really um, jump those trees very easily. Yeah. Oh, oh. what's this? Another oh, uh, tiny boss. tiki head. I tell you, you boys have been doing swell. Just swell. Uh huh. Anyhow, we've been taking in the sights of. When I see that vulture thing on his cup, I think of the space vulture from Looney Tunes for some reason. So much to um, like the black vulture? on the wide. Or the, the space dodo thing, I don't know. The green bird. Oh, the, oh, the, oh, the dodo. Yeah. All those, yeah, I, I can kind of see that. Just add water. Yeah. <laughs> Instant Martians. Almost as if they're alive? Almost. Exactly as if they're alive. Well, time for, our first, way, time for another first big boss. Yeah, would this be a bad time to... Would this be a bad time to bring up who voices the evil twins? Uh, no, nah, go for not it. really. This boss, this, this boss, unfortunately, drags on a bit. See, so yeah, I'll go for it. Um, both the evil twins are voiced by Quentin Flynn. Oh, the thought. He is. He literally is everywhere, just like Le Lanny Manella. Yep. But I think he does. He, he has a good. He has quite a range. No kidding. Oh yeah. I mean, if only, didn't, if only he didn't look so weird, I'm sorry. He looks like... <laughs> oh, the guy, oh, like the guy, who the guy himself? Yeah. Oh. Um, I don't think he looks that bad. Actually, I'm almost afraid to say this because it might come off as rude, but the way you said that mm. kind of reminds me of Nick of Futterman. Oh. Okay. Nick of Futterman? Um, she is, for those that don't know, um, she is Catwoman in Batman the Brave and the Bold, and to give a role that gems will recognize, she is Styx the Badger. Oh, her. Huh. So what were you saying? So you, so you so she you say that she's not really much of a looker in person, or um, oh geez, I, I kind of don't want to be rude about it, but not necessarily. You can, it's fine. She's a celebrity. They kind of know what. They, unfortunately, they know what they're getting themselves into. Welcome to Hollywood. Well, she's just a regular voice actor. Yeah. Like Quentin. Oh, I know, I, I know. I'm just saying that for exaggeration's sake. I know. Still gotta do that. Oh, Speaking geez, of so... exaggerations. 
So yeah, this boss is just pretty much the same thing. You've seen all of his attack patterns. We just gotta do it one more time. I I do like his I do like his movements. So I like the animations in this game. Oh yeah, the animations in this game are well when they're not gl glitches all hell. They're top notch. Mm -hmm. Oh jeez, oh boy. And also, oh. it's definitely the best that it's definitely like, the best that it's ever looked in the histories of the franchise. No kidding. And well, yeah, that goes without saying. But also, the the theme tune to this guy's this guy's boss theme is actually really good. Yep. Yep. Very oh, there we go. He's dead. Mm -hmm. You can't tell if it's supposed to be if it's supposed to be corny or really button up serious. But we got him. Yay! We beat the we beat the totem god. Mm -hmm. By the way, listen really closely to something in one of the evil twins say because I have something to say about it. reverse the device is in operation sucking the goodness out of this dimension and leaving behind the worst of all possible worlds we just like making a man just to say real quick that is the only time they mention that machine by name oh yeah because hmm. like i because they never show it no they don't nope well, again, just goes to show that this game was horribly rushed. Swims a magnificent but... whale of a plan. Oh? To the laboratory. So... Wait a minute. When... He was frozen for about three years. When did he suddenly have an iceberg laboratory? I'm Maybe he had it on standby. Sure. Maybe, it's... Maybe it's like a summer retreat. Uh, yeah. Uh, if, except the exact opposite. <laughs> exactly. Hey, you have to, there it is hey, you have, to have something to you have to have something to escape the heat. Yeah, like a so, like a decent enough Lex Lang impression. Oh, yeah. Oh jeez. Okay, this part's gonna be fun. Ooh, yeah. Uh, to how yeah. drop shot would team be team. very helpful here. Oh, oh. Yes, it oh. would. Again, it, okay. It's stuff like that that doesn't really help the cause I make about ah. why I don't like the platforming in this game. It's fine, it's fine. I like it for the writing and the music, not the platforming all the time. Got another one up, yay. Yeah. And the last gem. Well that is that's kind of a that's kind of my whole problem with Twin Sandy just... in general. It's like don't get me wrong, like the audio is you know, like with voice acting and music and whatnot, it's all top tier. But as as we all know, the most important thing Come about to my any boat kind for of game man, is... I can take you to the other place. The Ooh, other place you, you say? Yep. So now we're just sailing. And we'll figure out, and where will our adventures take us? You will find out in the next part. Mm -hmm. Take it's care, everybody. It's pretty fucking obvious where we're going, but anyway, take care, guys. Fancy well.